So, hello everybody, my name is Magdalena Kovnacka and Gabriel Kovnacki. We are running a foundation called FIGHT, so it's Foundation Artist Innovation Theory. And uh, one of the basic uh, ways of our work is also running a gallery, which we had three and a half. <laughs> we come from Krakow, of course, and we would like to present uh, few ways of our activities till now. We were established in 2005, so this year we have a 10th uh, anniversary of our working. Um, the first exhibition space uh, that was um, kind of established in 2005 was in post-industrial space. It was an old railway station. Um, rented from railways <laughs> and uh, it was totally devastated at the beginning so uh, the whole process of working with that space was also combined with uh, preparing the space to be used for cultural events. Um, the most strategy in, uh, strategy in that place was uh, first of all showing emerging local artists so we were working with all people who were the same age as we were at that time. And uh, we were also trying to present a group exhibition on some specific topic, but most of those things were like totally uh, no budget activities. Like we were just calling people that they were coming and some crazy ideas were, were, were developing out of it. Like, the exhibition worst photos we have ever taken that we presented on the months of photography in Krakow. <laughs> uh, we were also presenting some 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 art scenes from uh, other places that we thought might be interested and kind of networking could be developed out of it. And we were traveling with few exhibitions to those places that we started to participate with. And some photographs of the space. Um, that was the opening and the first exhibition that, that we did there. It was a huge space, um, around 300 square meters. Three floors, yeah. <laughs> and run by actually three people because the foundation was established by three people. Right now we are running it just two of us. Mm. So, after some time, the space looked like that. Actually, we were renting just two tiny rooms and the rest we could uh, use only during the day. So every day the exhibition had to be uh, <laughs> taken down and every day we had to make installation all over again. So after two years, we were really dreaming of a place that you just come into and just switch on the lights <laughs> and you have your desk and the computer and uh, which works in a different way. So we were actually, we were not focused on some particular um, way of presenting art. So there was uh, a lot of performances, some concerts, some video presentations, uh, design, um, <laughs> so then we had the real gallery, so that we trained on after those two years. So white space, uh, lightning, <laughs> and uh, that could be closed. And it was great fun at the beginning. Um, we were mostly doing uh, individual shows there. Um, with people that we worked before, but also with uh, new generation kind of uh, young artists. Uh, we started the campaign for evaluating abstraction, so it was like a half year program of presenting uh, young abstract artists, and, um, and also that included a group, a group exhibition about the abstract tradition from beginning of 20s. So here are some photographs of, of uh, exhibitions that we did. Uh, this is Jakub Ilan uh, 
uh, who came to us. He's a painter uh, and he came saying that he always dreamt of making sculptures and he brought like tiny sketches saying maybe we could do something like that. Uh, so we were working on the whole process of production, trying to find a, the best solution for his ideas. And uh, since then, he started also to do objects. That, this is the exhibition, exhibition of Stefan Burger, who we actually work uh, with till now. And uh, our, uh, our um, collaboration started on this post-industrial space. And TREP, Ukrainian group, and some photographs from the, the, the campaign for evaluating abstraction. So this group exhibition was combining like very different things. Uh, archive, but also carpets, uh, some popular video clips, like music clips um, from pop music that were using abstractions as well. Um, then <laughs> we closed those spaces and we decided to do it totally different way. So we started to do some events in our apartment or in apartments of our friends. Um, after the, 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 we just felt a bit tired with the real gallery that we were running. So <laughs> um, we were also doing some very strange things with newspapers. Um, and uh, also uh, participating with uh, festivals that gave us opportunity to work in teams. So we worked with architects and performers and um, artists creating a kind of situation that was provoking um, our activity. So this is a photography from all of our uh, performance in our apartment. Mm, this is our strange <laughs> uh, intervention, we just uh, um, asked and paid for the page in Art Review to be included in Power 100 in 2009, and it worked out. That was very... Uh, mm, also a, a nice gesture from the, the team of Art Review that they allowed it us to do that. And the festivals, so that was a, a festival uh, in Hamburg, uh, in a place that was about to be a um, very fancy apartment place, but before that they decided to invite and a bit use artists to make the space more um, prestigious maybe. So we decided that it's okay, but we want to have this uh, comfort and luxury for ourselves. So we did kind of a private vi uh, villa for us with a swimming pool on the roof, and we were inviting artists to spend some time with us. So this is Sabat Drumheller that she was singing on the top of, of that construction made by Amshisten, and BNB Ballistics who were teaching people how to do explosive materials from um, commonly available things. Mm. <laughs> well, you're doing very well, I, I, I didn't want to disturb you, but uh, okay. Next step of uh, our activities was uh, uh, was a club. It was, uh, it was uh, more like project space. We've been uh, mostly concentrated of, uh, on a uh, performative program and uh, we had a bar over there. So uh, at the beginning the plan was to, uh, to do more exhibition and uh, art events, but uh, it ended uh, uh, as, a, um, <laughs> as a hardcore place for, uh, for art society in, uh, in Krakow, and everybody was there. And, uh, and it was a really crazy time, uh, but uh, what was nice, I would, uh, um, I have to say that uh, uh, we met a lot of people from from also different uh, like circles of uh, uh, of, um, of arts. Like uh, lots of actors were coming, filmmakers, and uh, and everybody went there. 
So uh, from these meetings, of course, uh, informal meetings, uh, we um, came a few very nice uh, productions, as far I know. So it was like a center of the uh, of the interaction. Oh, about the performances over there. Here we have uh, Antoni Karboski, uh, Michał Iwata, uh, who's there? Arty Grabowski. Uh, and uh, Alistair McLean. And, uh, this is uh, <laughs> this is a photo of uh, of Krakow's uh, uh, fight members or uh, our visitors or uh, friends, colleagues, and uh, everybody who went uh, to our place that time. Uh, we also uh, started the uh, oral history project that we are mm, still uh, working on. Uh, so we have uh, like interviews with uh, artists, uh, critics, and uh, and people from neighborhood from Krakow, uh, and we are collecting the stories uh, constantly uh, since four years already. We started with the photography as the project began with uh, the month of photography, but right now we work on art in Krakow in 80s, so we, work, we are just gathering all those stories which are not uh, always coherent uh, with each other, <laughs> but uh, a lot of new ideas, a lot of uh, um, artistic strategy, strategies and, and ways of working are just coming uh, to, I think, more common knowledge, and I think it's very worth doing. And we started also to make film productions um, at times, and uh, we made movie, film about, well, uh, focused on Jerzy Beres, but this film is more like a metaphor or uh, allegory about him. So he, he was a performer in Krakow. Actually, he died uh, during making uh, of that film. So we started with doing a film about living artists, and at the end, we we were left like doing a kind of a <laughs> promemorium thing. Yeah. So uh, we were doing also during this production, we were doing reconstructions of of two of his performances with uh, amateurs and that was really extraordinary experience. Mm, we were also involved uh, with um, kind of a festival or presentation of Christoph Schlinger's uh, films and workshops with theatre people. So, all those things started with this bar. So we started to um, mix uh, people from different ways of doing art. So we started to cooperate with films, uh, film people with theatre, and it all started to grow and resulted with, with such things. This is a, a, a theatre spectacle that uh, we were involved uh, in which was based on the uh, paradise of Dante, but uh, most of actors were people with autism. And the uh, director of that was Mio Borchu. Mm, and then we started with the new gallery. <laughs> new gallery is uh, an apartment in, uh, uh, in Krakow. It's uh, about uh, Hundred meters, meters space. We we decided to uh, to to open again, uh, like uh, looking uh, for the Krakow scene. Uh, like we uh, uh, we felt that we just uh, m must <laughs> do it because uh, because the uh, after after two years without uh, without uh, a. Uh, Base a foundation uh, working uh, well, working around with uh, with uh, with the projects uh, mm, away from our our uh, space. Uh, yeah.
care. It's a kind of addiction. <laughs> so uh, it was opened uh, in uh, December last year. So it's a uh, it's young space. We had till now uh, two exhibitions. First was uh, based on on the collection uh, or uh, works that uh, we have in the, in the, in the gallery in uh, in the nation. So uh, Łukasz Białkowski was uh, was a curator of. Uh, of that show called uh, Abstract Hooligans. <laughs> so we some, somehow uh, try to uh, develop all these ideas that came during all those 10 years. So we are based on, well, we are mostly focused on the local art scene, which seems to be the most interesting topic for us. And uh, the biggest need, actually, as as a gallery, as Krakow, is not really like a, a very <laughs> dynamic <laughs> and exciting place. Um, we try to, to to continue with interdisciplinary projects. So we we are very likely to participate with theatre, with with film, um, with performance as well. Uh, beside the, 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 the most interest of visual arts. Um, we decided, as the gallery is, is in an uh, apartment, so we would like to make uh, the, uh, a place for residences, and uh, we would like to invite artists and, and curators to, to stay for a longer time in Krakow, also to uh, somehow bring outside energy to, to that place, to that, that, that scene. We continue with the oral history, so right now we are mostly focused on 80s in Krakow. Um, we all the time develop our archive, which is based both on the collection and uh, the oral history uh, um, These are mostly audio uh, files, but we also make it uh, video. Um, and that's, that's the deal of, of today. Um, these are some photographs from, from, from the last exhibition that is still open. This is an uh, um, exhibition of Krzysztof Mężek, uh, a painter, abstract painter. But we decided to find a, a different way of presenting those, uh, those paintings. So we wanted to use more folk way of being a, a paint. So they were just uh, traveling through the gallery space during the opening, uh, and an actor was reading a uh, text, sublime and avant-garde of, of, uh, of Lyotard during that time, but he was reading it um, mostly to himself, so only a few sentences were just coming in and out uh, during during that, that event. Would you like to add something? Thank you.